for the purposes of compliance with ethics and data storage policies. Data means original information which is collected, stored, accessed, used or disposed of during the course of the research. And the final report of the research findings. Your research methods may include the collection of information, data, which can be interpreted or analyzed to frame. E answers to your research questions or increase knowledge of your research topic. You can collect this information in a variety of ways such as interviews, surveys, experiments, observations, critical appraisal of texts, literature or works of art or other artifacts. Different collection methods will require different types of management. Quantitative information, numerical or quantitative info. Mation is obtained from research methods such as surveys of populations or from repeated experimental procedures. When recording the data it is important to include detailed information, e.g. dates and place of collection. Methods of measurement, units of measurement to minimize confusion. Numerical data are usually recorded on printed data sheets, then stored in spreadsheet format. In some cases data may initially be recorded by handheld computers or specialized data recorders which can later be downloaded to more secure devices. Data recorders can often be set up to record data remotely, with have the requirement that researchers be present. Such techniques are frequently used in meteorological research or in situations where it would be too hazardous for a researcher to be present for example, industrial and chemistry applications. A short course on statistics may help you analyze your data. Your supervisor should be able to direct you to an appropriate course or consultative service. Qualitative information. Qualitative and non-numerical information may be recorded during interviews with human participants, often on video or audio tape, possibly with supporting notes, and may be transcribed into written form later. Other qualitative information describing and interpreting texts or artifacts may also be recorded in written form and stored on index cards or as word files. This M. Material may be coded for themes using software programs, e.g. NVivo, that search for keywords or strings, or it may be done manually. The transcripts may also be treated as texts for analysis. Working with your data, the data or information you initially collect is often in a bulky format which need to be summarized, interpreted and analyzed before you can draw conclusions. It is often best to summarize information to identify patterns. Summarizing helps you to compare information in a standardized format so that you, or your reader, does not have to sort through a lot of information to make comparisons. For example, when interpreting interview data you can prepare tables listing frequently raised issues of interviewees under categories such as age or gender. Numerical data can usually be summarized mathematically, as means. Medians, modes or frequencies. Once information is summarized, you will find it easier to identify patterns and interpret meanings. Sometimes this can be a simple, descriptive process if patterns or meaning are obvious. Presenting your data. When writing conference papers, posters, publications or your thesis, you will need to present your information clearly. Using figures such as diagrams, photographs, maps, graphs or tables where lists of written and numerical information will enable you to demonstrate your arguments clearly. Figures and tables must be numbered consecutively, be correctly referred to by number and relevant to the text be presented in a consistent style. Have a descriptive caption so that they can be understood without text if necessary. Graphs must have axes labeled and all units of measurement clearly shown. Information such as raw data tables, photographs of specimens, or artifacts may be more appropriately inserted as appendices.